hearing this morning was called with uh, relatively short notice. At least we didn't have a lot of notice, but Esme Murphy was in the courtroom and she joins us now live. Esme, what, uh, what reaction, uh, if any, was there from Thomas Lane? Well, he actually looked very relaxed through this hearing. The, the uh, plea agreement was actually just signed yesterday, May 17th. Again, as you said, he pled guilty to second degree manslaughter. The second degree murder charge was dropped and they agreed for a recommendation of 36 months. Now, that's just a recommendation, but it almost certainly will be the sentence he will get in this state case. Uh, he has not been sentenced in the federal case yet. There also will be a recommendation that he do his time in federal prison, not state prison. It's widely viewed that federal prison is a lot better place to serve a sentence. Um, also, one thing, there was a Zoom for the Floyd family, which presumably they're all, most of them live in Houston. So there was a Zoom to set up, and it, actually the hearing was delayed to get the Zoom ready so the Floyd family could see the proceedings. Thomas Lane didn't say anything other than just yes in the terms of when the judge asked him did he plead guilty. Uh, there is a, a document that's going to be filed that's presumably longer in which he admits to his guilt and admits to what he did. Of course everybody saw the tape so we, we know he was holding down the feet of George Floyd. He was at the other end and yes as, as uh, Heather mentioned he was the man who he was the officer who actually asked uh, Derek Chauvin to roll George Floyd over. So a, a lot of interesting things here, but Thomas Lane himself looked very composed, even relaxed. Uh, so we won't see him again until September. That's when the sentencing will happen and the sentencing, his sentencing will happen after the federal sentencing. Mm -hmm. uh, Esme, uh, would this be something that the Floyd family would agree to? I think they would have had to have agreed okay. to it. I, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't speak for them. And actually, Jeff Storms, uh, their attorney, was up in court. We were hoping that he would come down and uh, give us a chat. Um, he is one of the attorneys representing the Floyd family. Obviously, they knew about it because they were zoomed in. Um, I'm sure that they probably are not happy. You know, I, I think they felt that all of these, they were very happy with the federal conviction. Um, I don't want to speculate about how they feel, but I know they felt that all of the officers involved deserved the strongest penalties. I think one of the issues here is that the case against Thomas Lane has always been considered the weakest uh, of all officers, of all the four officers. And so I think there was concern that maybe they wouldn't get a conviction in state court. Also, he was convicted in federal court. So that, that may have all come into play. I think that they're clearly aware of the federal court proceedings and the fact that he was convicted there. Still waiting for a sentence in the federal court uh, case in Minnesota Attorney General right. Keith Ellison just issuing a statement uh, expressing some uh, satisfaction that Lane, quote, accepted responsibility mm -hmm. in Mr. Floyd's death. Right. Of course, we'll hear more from the Floyd family. And as Esme mentioned, Jeff Storms uh, coming up later on today. Esme will be there Thanks, for Esme. us. Thank you. Be sure to stay with us for continuing coverage of these new developments on WCCO4 News. We'll also be streaming on CBS News Minnesota.